G'day, I'm Andrew from Berrima Diesel Service and just leaning over an engine we've just turbocharged, a lovely 1HZ with one of our turbo kits. A real common question when we get inquiries, and we get a lot of them still every day, even though these motors are 30 years old, is about intercooling. Do I need to intercool? You know, I need the safety of an intercooler to look after my engine when I put a turbo on. Well, that's sort of wrong. You know, we've been doing these things for so long, non-intercooled, it's not funny. When it's set correctly, they will last reliably for a very long time. If I go back probably 25 years or so ago, when we might have done a few intercoolers here and there, this is what would usually happen. It's already turbocharged now. You're getting a 40 to 45% torque gain. When you put the intercooler on, which is going to be another couple of grand on top of the turbo, which is already nearly four, that's going to be suddenly six. You then start going, well, just the intercooler alone, I need also a bit more fuel so I can get power out of that. And all of a sudden we get to 55, 60% power and torque gain. That now makes the clutch slip. Oops, another 1500 bucks or more later. Now we're starting to run out to seven and a half, eight grand and even higher. Just get to get the job done. Remember, go back to the basics. In a non-turboed motor, wasn't made for turbocharging. But if it's turbocharged, it'll last successfully for a long time. In relation to upgrading to an intercooler, we just say no need as far as it goes on a 1AZ or a TD42. They weren't made for it when they're in non-turbo form. Just turbocharge it. Keep it at that setting, that's more than plenty, and save the bucks for something else, maybe like an exhaust upgrade. You can see more of these videos if you keep watching us here on Facebook. Look us up at YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, or of course get more information about looking after your diesel at berrimadiesel.com.